Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labrat and today's writing vlog is starting the next draft of my project DE, which is draft four. It is the first draft after the beta reader feedback that I got on draft three. And so what I'm going to be doing in today's video is starting at the beginning of draft four and starting this next step in the writing process with rewriting the beginning of the book. And now without further ado, let's get into it. Today is May 15th of 2021, and today is the day that I start draft four of my project DE. I am now 700 words into the brand new opening for draft four of DE. Um, I spent uh, like an hour writing outside, kind of compiling all of my thoughts from the beta reading feedback and like what thoughts I had had for the new opening and basically condensing those thoughts down even further into like basic gists to kind of get myself like an outline or like a theoretical here's how I want this to go for the new beginning and so I'm 700 words into that which is awesome and then the wind started blowing a lot and so my allergies started acting up so I came inside and now I'm going to keep working on it. Okay, here's the thought process. I am currently sitting about a thousand words, new words, working on this like brand new opening of draft four, which is still really freaking cool. However, before starting on that today, when I was sitting out by the pool, before I started on my writing, I did think about roughly how long I want draft four to take me. And quite frankly, it is a lot less time than I think is realistic, but I kind of just wanted to like tell y'all about my thought process the breakdown of like how long this may or may not take me and just kind of like work through it and kind of come up with like theoretical timelines to help myself ideally. Draft three ended at 119,701 words. So for the simplicity of math, I just went ahead and rounded up to 120,000 words. And then I kind of just like started breaking it down. If I were to do an average of a thousand words a day, it would take me 120 days, aka about four months. If I were to either do or average 1,500 words a day, it would take me about 80 days, which is like a little over two and a half months. If I were to do 2,000 words a day, it would take me two months, which is like the ideal timeline. But I don't know totally how realistic that is if I'm also moving during that time frame, because that's gonna take a lot, both packing and moving and then unpacking and then being in a new place. That's gonna take a lot of energy and effort. So even though that is the most ideal timeline and that would bring me to July 15th, which would be two days after the five year mark for starting this project, which I think would be really cool, especially if I could like finish draft four on July 13th, that would be so awesome. But that is working on this 2000 words every single day, or at least averaging 2000 words a day. That's already a lot, even though that's kind of the goal. The fact that I'm sitting at like 1000 new words right now for the day is making me feel really good about that concept, but I do know that that some days I'm not gonna write when I'm moving, probably not gonna write. So that like very quickly bumps up the word count to still accomplish that 120,000 in the same two month time period. And if I were to bump it up to 2,500 words a day, I would be able to finish draft four in 48 days, which is like a month and a half. So I think that gives me something to shoot for. Like in a perfect world, I will be able to do something between 2,000 and 2,000 2,500 words a day. I don't know how frequently that's actually gonna happen, but that is the hope, dream, and desire for draft four. It's 10 p.m. I'm sure Sarah's just getting started. Hey, you know it. Guess who just got done working on editing one of her videos? Me. Guess what time it is? 12.50. Am I gonna go to bed? No. See, I know this is gonna happen every single night. Every time I try to say I'm gonna go to bed early, I don't. And I love that for me. The thing is, is that I know that I'm gonna do another writing sprint. I know that it's gonna keep me up easily past one if one is now nine minutes away, which means I'm not gonna be in bed until I get at least like 2.30. Mm, I know I need to go to bed, but I also really wanna pass at least 2,000 words. I think I'm gonna do just like two or 300 more words, hopefully. 
Although I'm also kind of writing an intense scene, so I don't know how actually well that's gonna happen, but whatever, let's just do it. Ready, set, go. I ended up not filming that sprint because I was just sitting on the couch and there's no like easy way or good way to film my screen when I'm sitting on the couch, but it is now 1.23 a.m. And I ended the day at 2,524 words done in two hours and 55 minutes worth of writing sprints. So off to a very good start for the first day of draft four. Yay. And I officially finished the first brand new chapter, like the brand new opening beginning chapter, and I'm really happy with it. I ended up rereading it several times throughout the day and kind of like editing as I was going, kind of like improving it as I was going, and I'm really happy with what I ended up with. And I don't think editing while I was writing was limiting at all actually, because I am on the fourth draft. If this was like draft one or a rough draft, I could see how it would be like a little bit, maybe not a good idea for me to be editing as I write, but I was actually very happy that I was doing that and it will be interesting to see if I continue to do that or if that was like just because I'm working on the first chapter. I think that this first chapter is a lot more gripping than the last one was so I at least have that going for the story so far. When we were wrapping up the live stream earlier, Brie Bonomo, even though she wasn't on screen, left a comment saying, 10 p.m., I bet Sarah's just getting started. And even though it was 9 p.m. my time because I'm in Central Standard Time and not Eastern Standard Time, I don't think I knew how much more I was still gonna be up. And I like how I'm filming this now and not just going to bed. What am I doing? It is the next day, meaning that it is now May 16th. Um, I kind of waited until like the last possible minute to write tonight. It is currently 11.42. My alarm is gonna go off at midnight to tell me to go to bed. So before that happens, I wanna get some writing done. Okay, I also totally breezed over the fact that I wrote 2,500 words yesterday and like didn't celebrate or like didn't get really excited about it. And I think that's purely because it didn't really set in because it was so late, but today I I realized that I wrote a lot yesterday and I'm very proud of that. Forty-five minutes later, after finishing that 45 minute writing sprint, I ended up with 1,128 words, which puts me at a current total of 3,652 words so far in the new beginning of draft four. It is currently 1240. I definitely snoozed both of my alarms that were telling me to go to bed. So cheers and good night. Today is May 17th. I am fully aware that I am wearing the same shirt I was in the last clip that you guys saw me in, but I just got back from the gym. I changed into this because it sounded comfortable. I am going to be making dinner and then I'm excited to get working on draft four again tonight. I might be moving like sooner than I thought I was, like up to like a week or two sooner than I thought I was. So I also bought boxes and a rug for my new place. So I'm also gonna have to be packing at some point and I'm just like realizing that draft four might have to be a little bit slower on the front end if I'm moving like, you know, sooner than I thought I was. So that's the update. I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'll talk to you guys again. It's later on the same day, still May 17th. I did change. I just finished writing about 500 words in about 30 minutes and I like could keep going, but I know that that's not gonna be like the most beneficial thing for me to do right now. So I'm gonna take a little break, probably go work on cleaning my kitchen, probably watch some Netflix or something, and then hopefully come back and do like one more writing sprint this evening. I would like to hit at least a thousand words, even though like in theory, it would be nice to do more than that. I'm not really sure that's gonna happen right now. So hoping for at least one more sprint. Okay, I have to turn the ambient mixer off. I just got so confused because I forgot that that was playing, but like out the window, I was seeing lightning. And so there's like an occasional like thunder rumble that will happen on this ambient mixer. And so I forgot that this thing was playing because I was like, oh yeah, okay, cool. I can just hear the thunder from outside. And then rain just hit my window and I just got so freaked out. <laughs> 
It doesn't help that I'm writing like kind of a creepy scene right now, but now it's raining and it's like 1222. So I feel like that means I have to keep writing because now it's raining and so it's perfect writing weather, you know? Am I just trying to come up with reasons to stay up and keep working on this? Probably. But if it's writing weather, then it's writing weather, you know? Okay, this is where I'm currently sitting, 4,681 words. My goal is to pass 5,000 this evening while it's raining. I would say that went well. It is now 1.03 in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here for the night. I'm currently sitting at a total of 5,546 words, which means that I wrote 1,894 words tonight, which is very good. Thank you, Rain. I was definitely concerned about even getting like 1,000 tonight, so the fact that I got like Mm, almost 1900 I'm very happy with. And I did that in an hour and a half worth of writing sprints and that's I think where I'm gonna call it for this evening. I'm currently on page 12, things are feeling good. I feel like I'm moving through this quickly. I did hit a point where I kind of felt like most of the new opening has now been written and now I'm starting to go back through what I had written in draft three and start writing that over and kind of making changes and adjustments as needed. And so I'm feeling good about it. I am adding in things that the beta readers wanted to see and so hopefully I'm making this better. But I guess that is for, you know, later judgment to really tell. But so far, you know, feeling pretty good. On May 18th, I ended up writing exactly 500 words, which brings me up to 6,046 words total. I only worked on this for like mm, 25 minutes tonight, but I think I'm gonna call it there. And I'm feeling quite confident with how I have now restarted the story and I'm very happy with kind of where it's sitting and where it kind of sets up the rest of the story to continue. I'm 6,000 words into 120,000. This is gonna take me a little bit of time. But that first 6,000, thousand words means that I have officially started draft four and that I have officially rewritten the brand new beginning, but hopefully that is the first step in improving draft four from the beta feedback that I got on draft three. Yes, draft three was 120,000 words, but what that means is that I will just be continuing to make videos about this revision process moving forward into draft four and beyond. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you liked my video and that someone else might too. If you want to see more videos like this from me and you are not already subscribed, make sure you scroll down below, hit that big red subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it so you don't miss another upload. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Lebrat and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!